Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the most political YouTuber, and it is actually not Unsleeve Media, it is Weds from The Mana Source. So let's go over some of his tweets. The Mana Source says, Hey, bigoted speech is totally fine. We welcome bigoted speech, we welcome offensive speech, we welcome it. So this is a paraphrasing or this is how Wed sees Twitter safety. Now Twitter is a very large company. It is a company worth billions of dollars. And we have a homeless person commenting on a billion dollar corporation and their decisions. Oh, not homeless, sorry. The blanket statement is what bothers me. I don't care about differing opinions among individuals which you actually do, it's hate groups and advocates for hate groups that I want banned. We throw N around so often, but I want real actual N's banned. The statement is too broad, enables everything. So Wedge is, he is a proponent of banning hate groups, hate speech, and people who hate. Which is quite interesting because Tolarian Community College hates Unsleeved Media. So we ban him as well for his hate speech. So Tolarian, always the professor, sends a, a video and a Hank Green video saying that it is not a cut and dry issue. So this is a microcosm or I guess magic to the Gathering community is a microcosm of what's actually happening out there. Uh, our community is not isolated from politics, especially when the Mana Source and Tolarian bring politics every single day on Twitter. Now, the Mana Source does not make magic videos anymore. Uh, he has not made a video for a long time. I don't, this video is being produced on a Friday at 4 p.m. At this time, he has not produced a video since his surgery um, a month plus ago. Tolarian says, I hate him. For years, he has made countless videos attacking me. I hate him. And would this be hate speech? It does use the word hate. I mean, sometimes people don't use the word hate and we can argue whether or not it's hate speech. But is using the word hate directed towards another peer, in this case, another YouTuber who created magic content, is this hate speech? Should he be banned? Now, it's a two-sided coin. In one side, Tolarian and what I mean, just focus on Wedge for a moment. On one, one side, Wedge is saying that we need to get rid of hate speech. On the other side, Wedge is provoking and encouraging hate speech. The problem is this statement. There are so many opinions I disagree with and even consider disgusting. But I largely, largely don't want people banned for having those opinions. So the scholar Wedge is, being a PhD scholar, He's coming up with an argument that on its face seems logical, but if you peel it back even a tiny bit, it doesn't make any sense because who's defining largely? And the answer is wet. What do I want banned? Hate groups. Who defines what a hate group is? Wet. Advocates for hate groups. So we are one tier removed. So it's not just people in a hate group. It is people who, you know, now at this point, how do we define advocate? How is advocate defined? So the interesting part about Wedge's whole argument of how vague Twitter is, their policy, you know, their tweet, I mean, how specific do you want a tweet to be, is Wedge is using crazy language to justify his hatred towards some people who justify who defines what an advocate is and they make a good point 
Sounds good in principle, but who gets to decide what's a hate group? What are the parameters? Are they fixed or do they fluctuate with the political tides? So let's say that in 1980, during the Reagan administration, it was a lot different than it is today. So th something that would be considered hate then may not be considered hate today. And something that was con not considered hate then could be considered hate today. So who is defining all of this stuff? Pretty sure hate groups are bad is a leftist position. The right has good people on both sides, remember? You're not wrong, it's just that supporting N is a partisan position now. So let, let me go ahead and say, um, let me say some interesting stuff and it might not be political. I mean, I'm, I'm, I might, Wedge will put me as advocate of hate groups after I make this statement. We have the law. The law is the First Amendment, which does not ap apply to private organizations, but does apply to the government and has been used to uphold free speech. Um, I took many classes on this issue. The problem with people defining what a hate group is and the problem with is that you're always reliant on a individual or a group of individuals to determine what's acceptable. That is a very dangerous path historically. That is something that you don't want. On Twitter, I would say, Weds is criticizing Twitter, which gives people the right to freedom of speech. It gives Donald a right to tweet whatever he wants. It is very, very interesting. Like Wedge says, I will say though, Trump needs his Twitter taken away. Dude shouldn't be able to threaten nuclear capable na nations in the middle of the night from an app on his phone. I think there is a misunderstanding of, but let me explain. In my perspective, um, and I'll use one example that is highly political, and you half of you won't agree with this. Police cameras. Um, the reason that we have body cameras was because there was a lot of abuse. We didn't know how many minorities were abused in the late 1980s because no one had cell phones. Now we know. We see all these images, and we see all these videos of unarmed mainly african-american males being beat for you know i'll be on no reason I, I don't understand it um it's beyond me and police officers you know i love the police but it seems kind of strange right now can we expect that oh just because 1980s everyone was nicer back then and there was no police officers beating minority citizens no it just wasn't caught on camera. So the Twitter, the YouTube, giving everyone a voice, that's democracy. And taking away a voice just because you find it disgusting or you disagree with it in the magic community, unsleeved media, banned for life. We don't want anything to do with him. His voice is gone. Uh, magic the Gathering does not want him in the game. They gave him the ultimate, quote, punishment. And you look at cheaters, you look at all these other individual sexual predators, judges, all types. They're, they're not banned for life, but unsleeved media is. It's because of attitudes like weds. Attitudes like weds. Uh, create this political environment that is destroying not just Magic the Gathering, but in many part, in many, I feel it is weakening America. America is a great country because it has different opinions. Uh, it has different perspectives. One of my favorite quotes growing up is, I may not agree with your opinion, but I will fight to the bitter end to defend it. Defend your right to have that opinion. And I grew up watching lawyer movies, and it was always in that lawyer movie where, you know, the person is defending someone who, who they don't personally agree with. 
and they do so because that's justice like that is justice that's the american way not every country is fortunate enough to have that um, and i know that i i grew up i grew up knowing that um, america is a great country because it is it will judge you based on what you bring to it and if you work hard you create a business you live the american dream uh, you you can accomplish great things in this country that in no other country like you know a lot of my non-american subscriber base is going to get really mad at this but this is a great country uh, it's still a great country it's always been a great country and the reason is i can make this video on wedge and wedge can make a video su supposedly quotation marks on me and we can have a discussion. And you don't need to agree with everything Wedge says. You don't need to agree with everything I say. You can be like, hmm, that's an interesting opinion. Let me think about it. Let me ponder it. Let me grow on it. Wedge's opinions are incredibly dangerous. Um, they, uh, it is incredibly dangerous for someone like Wedge to keep saying what he's saying because it's not, it's not American. It, it just isn't. Um, it's, you may disagree. You may even hate an individual. But, but, you can still learn from them. Bye, guys.